Hey guys, and welcome to Minecraft Tornado Survival Season 7, Episode 25. And I did say a couple episodes ago that this would be... That this would be, um, the one-hour special, but I changed my mind. This isn't gonna be the one-hour special. This will just be a normal length episode. But, you guys, we have problems. At first, I thought I didn't have to worry about this tornado, but now it looks like it's coming straight for us. Because it was going away from us before. See, you guys, that proves my point. Storms can... Storms can change directions. Like, storms can change directions based on where the wind is blowing. Like, when aim at player on spawn is off. So, it looks like... Looks like the tornado that formed last episode actually changed directions, and now it's coming for us. I want to see if I could see it. Yeah, it, it definitely changed directions, because if you guys saw last episode, it was going away from us before, and now it's coming towards us again. Wait, is it changing directions again? It kind of changed directions again. I think it's all based on, like, where the wind is going. see if I can see it coming. It's weird how I can't... It's weird how I can't even see the rotating clouds. It's still kind of far, though. Okay, it's gonna move a little quicker now. a close strike. Where is it? I feel like I should be able to see it by now. Let me see. I hope this isn't the, gl the invisible storm glitch. I'm gonna go that way and see if I can see it. Like, is it far or is it actually invisible? Wait, I thought I saw rotating clouds. Okay, now there's a new storm. Hold on. Sorry about that, you guys. C, C came up without me wanting it to, so... Yeah, it's not invisible. Okay, that's all I wanted to know. It was just really far. But it looks like it's starting to come back this way. So yeah, that definitely proves that these storms can, can turn directions, which really complicates things. Because now if a storm is going away from us, we're not necessarily safe. So we gotta actually stay alert to see if storms will change directions, because they can. Um, so yeah. Oh, the potatoes have grown. So this episode, I was thinking of going out to hunt for some sugarcane. I did want to expand this greenhouse and kind of add like a sugarcane section to it. So yeah, that's what I wanted to do. Let's check on this storm. Is it still coming towards us or did the wind shift again? 
I think it's still coming towards us. And there's this one. It looked like it, it looks like it turned again. It's not coming towards us anymore, but now this one is, which is a problem. Now this storm's coming towards us. See, these storms are definitely shifting direction. Oh, that's not good. Now this storm is coming in our direction. It might shift directions again, though. Yeah, now this is coming towards us. And this is coming towards us as well. But now this is not coming towards us anymore. And this is gonna... This storm right here, I'm worried about it because it's gonna have plenty of time to strengthen before it gets here. This storm will not have a lot of time to strengthen before it gets here. It looks like it's missing now too. one's still coming in our direction. Where is that going? Okay, I think we can go up now. Yeah, I'm not gonna go near that thing in case it becomes an F1. But, um, I do want to find some sugar cane. the sun setting? It kind of is. Yeah, the sugar cane might be difficult to find. I don't think that's going to become an F1. Looks like it's staying in F0. I'm probably going to go out tomorrow to find the sugar cane. And there's that one tornado. That I thought was coming back this way. Yeah. This this setting that I have the storms on, like having the storms not aim at you, is going to make things a whole lot more interesting because now you don't know where the storms are going to go and they can turn. Whereas when you have the storms aim at you, I notice that they don't turn. Like, the direction they're going is the direction they're going, but now they turn. I think this one's kind of sidewinding. It's not coming, like, right for us. Let's take a look at it from the tower. We may not get much done at this episode. We may end up just weather watching. Whoops. Did not mean to do that. We kind of don't really need these, if I'm being really honest, because... Where are the zombie spawners? I had zombie spawners, so where did they go? I could have sworn I had zombie spawn spawners in here. But I'm not too sure where they went. Anyways, I'm gonna look on the watchtower. I think we're going to weather watch this episode. We're not going to end up getting much done. Um, if 
this storm starts going away from us, though, we'll actually try to, like, look for sugar cane or something. And these F-Zeros are racing away from us. Oh, yeah, this storm... Now they've... Now it should... Now it shifted directions. Yeah. The storms are shifting directions so much. Like right now. Okay, now I'm gonna try to find some sugar cane. I've never seen them shift directions so much. So now I'm going to look for sugar cane. I feel like the tornadoes sucked up a lot of the sugar cane here. Is that sugar cane over there or is that just grass? Looks like it's just grass. Um, there might be some around here. Looks like there's a tornado. I don't know if it's coming this way or not, because the winds recently shifted directions. Yeah, it looks like it's going away. But you just never know, because the winds might, like, shift directions again and bring it over here. Like, that's the scary part. You just don't know. So, looking for at least, I don't need a lot of sugar cane, I just need like one piece. Okay, I see some over here. I see some sugar cane right here. This will be a good start to the sugarcane farm. That I need to start collecting some wood because next episode what I'm going to do is I'm going to expand the greenhouse. And you may hear meowing in the background. That's one of my cats. She's very vocal, so you'll sometimes hear her meowing in the background, but yeah. So anyways, I do want to do some wood collecting as well. There's the tornado. So... So yeah, it's almost time to end the episode, but I do want to do some tree chopping. I want to exhaust this stone axe. I'm going to tree chop. Actually, we can clean up these logs over here. I'm actually going to need quite a bit of wood. I'm just going to keep chopping until this axe runs out. Because I will be expanding the greenhouse by a few blocks on each side. This may also mean that I'll need more glass, but I'll worry about that next episode. So yeah, as I probably told you before, I'm thinking of actually doing the one hour special, like, 
on episode 30. So, yeah, I'm still thinking about what we're going to do. Because I do have a couple of projects in mind. Well, I do have a project in mind. Yeah, I have a couple projects in mind. Could do, like... In season one, I made, like, this animal breeding farm. We could do that. Or we could... We could make, like, an enchanting room. And start making some bookshelves. I'm just gonna punch these last couple of pieces with my hands. could also go to the nether, but I am probably going to go to the nether. Not next episode, because next episode we're expanding the greenhouse. But probably the episode after that. And shoot, I froze. But you know what? I was about to end the episode anyway, so I'm just going to end it here while I'm frozen. Actually... Yeah, I was going to re-log like, to see if any new storms formed, but I honestly don't care because it's time to end the episode anyway. So I'm just going to end it like this in a frozen state. So anyways, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed and goodbye.